Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video we're going to consider the series where we're looking at our mega multimeter and learning how to set it up and use various different functions. So we started off by measuring current. If you remember we pointed out that this is the AVO 835, AVO standing for amps, volts and ohms. On the last video we did amps, in this video we're going to look at the volts. So we're going to look at how we measure voltage using this meter and consider one or two essential exam points that will help you through your qualification. So we'll bring the camera in and we'll have a look. So first of all, let's get our meter set up to measure voltage. Now again, you'll remember from a previous video, we've got this really clever feature uh, where the holes are blocked out that we don't need to plug probes into. So what we'll do is we'll swizz this round until it's hitting the V over here for voltage. Now again, remember you've got your initial option in white, so this automatically goes to AC, as you can see on the screen. And then if we scroll through the yellow functions uh, by pressing the mode button, we go to DC. There's an AC plus DC component, which is really interesting. We'll talk about that in a future video. Uh, but we're interested, first of all, in measuring a DC voltage. So we'll get our leads plugged in and we'll measure what that voltage is going to be. So as we said, uh, these two holes have now opened up, therefore those are the ones we're going to plug into. If your multimeter doesn't do this, where it blocks off the holes you don't need, again remember, we always have a lead in the common, like we've got there, and then you just look to where the symbol is of the unit that you're measuring. So here we're measuring voltage, so you can see we've got a V next to that terminal. So we'll plug the other lead into there, and we'll connect that in like that. We're now ready to measure DC voltage. Now, the supply that we've got connected up at the moment is measuring 3 volts, so let's measure the input voltage across here. So we can see there that the input voltage here is 3.27 volts, which is giving us uh, a nice uh, reading on the DC voltage there. What you'll notice, uh, again this is on auto ranging, so it's setting itself to the right range. We've got various resistors here of quite wildly varying values, which means we'll get quite varying uh, voltages across here. So first of all, let's measure across the uh, one kilo ohm resistor. So we'll measure across that first of all. So you can see there we've got a voltage of 0.28 of a volt. Across the 12 ohm resistor, we should find here we've got quite a small voltage. So you can see there that is really quite tiny. And then we'll measure across the 10 kilo ohm and you can see there that we've got 2.97 volts so we're getting varying voltages inside the circuit there. So now that we've measured our DC voltage in this circuit what we'll do is we'll plug in an AC supply and then we'll show you how to set the meter up to measure AC voltage. So we've swapped our power supply over now we've got an AC power supply instead of a DC power supply so what we're going to do is set up the meter to measure AC voltage. Now again, this is really nice and simple on this meter. All we've got to do is press the mode button and what you'll see happen over here is we'll cycle through the options. So it goes to that AC plus DC setting. That's a really nice feature. And again, we'll talk about that in a future video. And then we're back round to our initial setting, which was AC voltage. So that's now set up and ready to measure that. Again, the meter is auto ranging at the moment. So it's basically choosing what range to show it in. We can change the range setting. We can make it our own by pressing the range button. So we'll cycle through. You can see there it changes the position of the decimal point and it'll tell us how much uh, voltage we're getting there. It changes the precision that it measures it with. So down there, we're down to one decimal point and uh, it, there we're to four decimal points. So again, a really remarkable piece of kit. It's nice and sensitive. To go back into auto mode, long press on the range button on this meter and that will bring up the auto setting just there so we can see that. And uh, we'll leave it on that for what we're doing here. The purposes of this video, that's perfect. So we'll measure the AC voltage that we're now set up to measure. So we'll measure that across here. Notice we've not had to change the position of the leads in the bottom. And now you can see we're measuring 15.55 volts there on that one. We can then go and measure the voltages throughout the circuit. So here we're getting 1.4, 1.39 of a volt across here. Again, this is the benefit of this meter. It will test relatively high voltages and it will also 
uh, measure very, very low voltages like we've got here. Note those are not technical expressions. Uh, we all know the bands for voltage ranges uh, as used by industry. And then across here we've got 10, the 10 kilo ohm uh, resistor and we're measuring 14.11 volts. So really measuring voltage couldn't be simpler. Just remember this key point when you connect up a voltmeter, which is how we've got our multimeter set up, it's connected into parallel with whatever you're measuring the voltage across. So we always connect voltmeters up in parallel. Remember that for your exams. So what a lovely multimeter we've got here. Uh, when we're measuring volts with it, it's got AC, it's got DC, it's got AC plus DC, which is a really nice setting. And, and again, we can either choose the range we want or it will auto range for us. It's a fantastic bit of kit. Uh, and we hope that uh, you enjoy using your mega multimeter. Uh, just that key point again, remember, whenever we measure voltages, we connect the voltmeter in parallel. Yeah, that is an absolutely critical exam point. So thank you for watching.